got his drum with him? Yo, he got it with him? I don't make me cry, man. Don't do that. Speed, 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 speed. I just want to thank each one of you guys, man. Uh, all your sacrifices, all the things that you guys are doing, for no one's watching. It's tru truly appreciated, and um, all the words, affirmation that we're giving each other go a long way, man. So keep the positivity going. The job's not finished, but we can definitely celebrate this one. This was hard. It was tough. Yes, sir. Yeah. Hey, hey. Together on three. One, two, three. Together. Last night, the Dallas Mavericks did it again, shocking the entire NBA. Going into halftime, they were down by 16 after a big time shot by Isaiah Joe pretty much at the buzzer. Now in the locker room, there was massive conversations that happened, including Luka and all these guys, knowing that this game was nowhere near over yet. And that is exactly what happened. But everybody thought that since they were down 16 and things weren't looking good, that this game was over. They thought game seven on Monday was gonna happen. But actually, no. They won this game 117 to 116. And instead of going to OKC for a game seven, they go and are the first team to advance to the Western Conference Finals this season. And they await their next series matchup. Will it be the Nuggets? Will it be the T-Wolves? Comment down below who do you guys think they'll play and who would you rather play as a Dallas Mavericks fan. But in this video, we're going to break down some film and we're going to break down exactly why the Dallas Mavericks once again will shock the world next series. Now, the first thing we have to do here is give a big shout to Luka Doncic. I mean, the man has been incredible. Even when the OKC Thunder sent two at him and made sure his life was so much more difficult, he still found ways to make plays. But with that being said, I would be stupid not to give shout outs to some of the other players on the team. One in specific from this game, Derek Jones Jr., not known as a big time three point shooter. Now, in this play specifically, we get Luka doing an amazing play. Let's watch it one more time here on this uh, little bit of a fast break. So, right away, we see two defenders here in Lou Dort and Jalen Williams. We're going to see Jalen Williams get back over to Kyrie and make sure that there's no space for him. But on the tail end, we aren't going to notice right now, but what we do notice soon is that we're going to see a trailing Derrick Jones Jr. getting as far out wide as possible, and then we're going to notice Chet Holger. Now, the thing to notice about this play is Luka does an amazing step back, pump fakes a three, and the, the option to now fake like he's about to drive in, even though he doesn't have a dribble, is going to force Chet Holgram to underread the play and kind of rotate into the paint allowing him to skip pass it over to Derrick Jones Jr., who again hits another beautiful three. Now, the opening play out of halftime, Derrick Jones hit a corner three, this time at the left quadrant. Beautiful. Not only passed by Luka, but Derrick Jones Jr. was the biggest X factor in this game. Not only did he have 22 points, shooting four or six from three, but he also had four rebounds, two assists, one steal and a block as well and defensively was one of their most valuable players in this game big shout out to Derek jones jr now one of my favorite plays in the book that they run over here in dallas is this play right here we're gonna see Derek lively with the ball top left elbow we're gonna see kyrie irving kind of sprint to the ball chase the ball right now he's gonna come off it and he's gonna make the most subtle move in the world but it changes everything now watch this little dho here by Derek lively and Kyrie Irving so boom he's gonna dribble over here give the ball to a handoff to Kyrie Irving now coming off the screen you put the big man in or the, the defender's big man in such a difficult situation right you can either cover the rolling man or you can cover uh you know the guy who just got it on the DHO in this case Kyrie Irving is he gonna drive in is he gonna pull up for a mid-range is he going to get into the lane you gotta cover a couple of the different things here as the trailing defender tries to get back into the play now watch this move by Kyrie so gets off the screen, boom, up fake. Do you see that little up fake? It is so tiny. It is such a little up fake here. But again, watch it. Boom. You see how he looks up at the rim, looking like he's about to stop and just pull up for a mid-range. Now, you might ask, well, 
how does that affect this play entirely well boom boom look at look at your ogrim jumping in the air allowing Kyrie to drive in for a wide open lift those are things that people don't notice when actually watching the game here but when you go back and turn on the film you can see why Kyrie is such an amazing player nice dho between him and Derek lively boom let me up fake by looking at the basket for just a split second and continue to drive in i mean they had the lob they had the layup i mean they had either or and you have pj washington wide open for three in the corner as well i mean you talk about the amount of different options you have with this play specifically as you see your weak side defender and Shea come in here trying to uh, guard the lob threat to Derek Lively. Doesn't get there in time. You have three wide open things that you could go to here. Amazing. Here we go. Another insane play here. This time by Luka Doncic. We're going to get a high pick and roll between Luka and Derek Lively Jr. at the top of the key. Now, Lou Dort has been such an amazing defender all series. Probably one of the toughest guys to score on in the entirety of the NBA. That is what he has given himself and earned throughout these playoffs so again we're going to get this high pick and roll immediately what we're going to see Lou Dort do is try to sprint around it well also Chet Holgram is going to hedge over and make sure that Luka can't really do anything here off this screen so again let's watch how this breaks down he's now going to go back left this is what you call a Verizal screen right so I mean th this is next level type of stuff right and they do it very well with Daniel Gaffer and Derek Lively so you're going to notice real quickly here uh, we'll go back just a second. You're going to see Derek Lively start this screen off on this side, right? As he goes around it, he's going to come back. Let me actually clear this for you. He's going to come back and then set another screen this way. This is, dude, this is next level type of stuff. Some beautiful play here. Great barrage out screen here by Derek Lively. Boom, get both defenders on the right side of the screen. Now come back, set this little screen, and now drive to the basket. Now what this does is completely open up the lane. Once you see Chet Holgram over commit to one side of the screen, reset it, barrage out screen, now get into the lane. Now you're going to draw multiple different defenders here. Not only Shea, but Isaiah Joe. You have Chet Holgram trailing back over, and now Lou Dort playing the backside as well. Dude, watch this play by Luka. So it drives all the way into the lane, right? <laughs> This is, I love watching Luka play because this right here, they actually do a very good job covering this up, right? Jalen Williams plays the middle of PJ and Kyrie. Derek Jones is open, but look at this. Luka drives in, draws the body contact low here on Chet Holgram, but then wants to go up for the open layup. Lou Dort, great job getting back into the play, swipes up. But look at the double clutch, man. Double clutch, throws it up as he's falling down and gets it to go and one. How? Please, you tell me. How is this possible? Verjown screen, uh, screen up top. Boom, beautiful. Get into the lane. Should be open. OKC does a great job. Pr pretty much just collapsing the paint. Guys, Luka can't be human. Oh my. Yeah, honestly, dude, wow. Guys, before we jump any further into the film breakdown, do me a big favor, hit that like button just so we can get this video out to more Mavericks fans around the world, but also subscribe to the channel if you're new, it's free, doesn't cost anything, and we will be covering the Mavericks throughout the entirety of the Western Conference Finals, whoever they play, we got you guys covered, so join the family, turn on post notifications, that way you're notified every time we post one of these videos, and uh, yeah, subscribe, it's free, doesn't cost anything, let's go! Beautiful play here by the Dallas Mavericks. Once again, man, you, you just talk about the versatility, the tenacity. Throws up a layup over here by Derek Jones. A great job by Jalen Williams or uh, actually K Kaden Wallace, Kaysen Wallace coming in here, making a big time play on the basketball, getting the block. But then you see Derek Lively, big time energy, tips it back over to Derek Jones Jr., who then sets up as four guys here in the paint here on the second chance opportunity. Cross court pass over to Kyrie. Guy in his face closing out with Isaiah Joe, but is able to just have the tunnel vision, throw it up, get it to go. Beautiful three ball, cuts it down to an 11 point game. This is really when it started uh, all falling down for OKC. Now, this play specifically was the turning point of the game. Once this play happened, OKC started to really lose confidence. Even up 11, things started to go really downhill. Now, again, we're going to get a little bit of a fast break opportunity here from Luka. And what do we see here right away? You see Shea and you see Kaysan Wallace coming from the backside here. Now, the reason this is important because whenever you're in a fast break uh, position here, 
there's someone going to be open, right? Which kind of sets the defense into a little bit of a scramble trying to get back on their guy. So on this play specifically, Kaysan Wallace should be Luka's main defender. And Shea is just, you know, picking up here just for a second. Let's watch how this play breaks down. Boom, okay? So Luka's going to step back. Now he's going to realize these two guys, Shea and Kaysan Wallace, are in a very weird position where it's like, who's covering me? Are you covering me or is Shea covering me? I don't really know. So right away, we see Shea kind of screaming at Kaysan, like, go cover your guy, go cover your guy, right? And Kaysan Wallace is like, okay, well, I don't really want to be on Luka, so how about you cover him, and I'll go switch on someone else. And this is where Shea gets pissed, like, go cover him, what are you doing? Luka, step back three, you know, good contest by Shea even still, but he gets it to go, and now look at Shea kind of lose that body language, have some losing body language there. And then he points at Caden Wallace like, bro, what are you doing covering your man? And you can see pretty much that whole time here, the whole possession, Shea screaming at Kaysan, get your man, get your man, what are you doing, get your man? Like, bro, you can tell right in this situation, it was over for OKC. Okay, okay, wait one second. If you guys love winning money and getting free money, you guys need to go check out Underdog Fantasy. Not only are they giving away free money for first-time depositors, if you deposit $500, they're going to give you 50% of that free. Basically, $250 free to your account, right? If you deposit $100, they'll give you $50. If you deposit $200, they'll give you $100 free. They are giving you an insane discount as well as if you sign up right now, they're going to give you a free play on day one. What that means is, for example, Jason Tatum, over half a point, right? Or they'll do Donovan Mitchell, over half a point. They're going to give you some of the easiest bets in the world. Go sign up right now. Code is in the description. Use my code, MattyDubs. Or not only do they have pick where you can play through literally anybody, any team for the NBA. Um, you know, look at all these picks you could go through, right? Look at them. Even tomorrow's picks. But also... They have MLB, if you like MLB. They have NHL, if you want to be in the NHL playoffs. WNBA, FIFA, golf, soccer, tennis, League of Legends. I don't know if you guys want to bet on some League of Legends, right? Esports, UFL. Guys, they have everything that you can think of. Go check it out. And they have live drafts as well for fantasy. This app is next level. Go sign up, use my promo code. Let's get right back to the video. Now, I wanted to do this video specifically on the third quarter, but I also did want to break down the fourth quarter as well. Now, with that being said, if you guys want a part two, comment down below part two in the comment section down below. I don't want to make this like a 25 minute video. So we're going to keep it around 15. Now, this play specifically at the end of the quarter, they're saying, hey, anybody else they're gonna send isaiah joe they're gonna send shea gildas even hedge over uh jalen williams to make sure he can't get over on this side as well 10 seconds left to go on the shot clock so what he does here is just quite frankly play the weak side of the floor right we got four defenders on this side with just one covering these two so we know right away if our guys can make some good passes here we're gonna get at least an open shot so he's gonna skip it over here to pj washington let's get to that point of the film Boom, draw the double. Does a really good job. Just keeping put, backing up even more. You know what that does, right? Is It sends these guys even further up the court, which makes it even harder for them to get back over to the other side of the floor. So I think Luca does a great job of that. Maybe didn't want to do that purposely, but did happen. Gets it over to PJ. Now we're seeing Isaiah Joe scramble. Now this is where it's important, right? Isaiah Joe trying to get back over to the corner to contest his shot. And this is what is so difficult when you play Luca is when you send the double team, there's so much rotation everywhere. So much things or so many defensive coverages have to change. Kicks over to PJ. Now he's going to kick it over to Derek Jones. Isaiah Joe nowhere near where he needs to be. And now Chet Holgram like, do I leave uh, Derek Lively wide open in the paint? Or do I go cover this three? Derek Jones like, all right, you're going to be uncommittal. I'm going to pull up for three. I'm looking good so far today. Gets it to go. And that is a beautiful way to end the third quarter. Guys, I'm telling you, the fourth quarter is even more amazing when we break down the film. I will do that if you guys want the part two. Let me know in the comments down below. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Join the family. Turn on post notifications. And again, part two out soon. I promise you guys that.